Hey everybody, Rich Pie Guy here. Today I want to talk to you guys about BIOS files. So this is a question that I get multiple times a day, every single day. Where the heck do you find BIOS files? And usually I don't have a great answer because they are super hard to track down. So regardless of which emulation platform you're using, whether you're building a um, completely new image or you're going in and just trying to add different uh, collection, you need to have ROMs, but you also need to have BIOS files in order to play all these different emulation collections. So not all emulation collections require BIOS files, but most do. And you definitely need to have all of the ones that are required for the particular collection on the particular emulation platform that you're using. So it's really tricky to track all these down. It's really easy to find ROMs for the most part. You could do a simple Google search and find a bunch of different places to download ROMs. Now, it doesn't mean that all of them are reliable and work really nicely, but for the most part, you can find what you're looking for. You just might have to spend a little time going through the different search results on Google, but you usually can find what you need. With BIOS files, it's a little bit harder to track everything down. There's a lot of different requirements for a lot of different platforms. so. Typically, I do most of my stuff on RetroPie, but recently I've started working with Botticera a little bit in order to get into some more advanced collections. So, um, you know, GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, uh, Wii, all of these are collections that you're not able to get into on RetroPie because RetroPie is connected to a Raspberry Pi, which maxes out its capacity in terms of what it can emulate right around uh, PSP and N64. Um, in Dreamcast, you can get most of the games on as well, but that's about where everything starts to fall off in terms of emulation on RetroPie. So with Bondacera, you know, and if you're going the uh, PC route, you're able to get much further along um, with your collection. So I've been trying to put together different uh, collections, including, you know, GameCube, Wii, PlayStation 2, and so on. These are collections that have very different BIOS file requirements than what I'm used to. So I'm tracking all these down for the first time ever. And it's been an absolute nightmare finding everything that's required. So I went to do PlayStation 2 the other day and it took me hours and hours to track down most of the BIOS files that were needed for that particular collection, but I still was a couple shy of what I needed to get everything up and running. So hours and hours were spent trying to track everything down. So today I actually go on Reddit and I'm able to find that somebody put together a BIOS set for every emulation platform out there. So you can go on here and download all of the different collections, BIOS files for Botticera, for Ricobox, RetroArch, RetroBat, RetroPie, and a bunch of other ones. So the fact that somebody took the time to put this together, you know, obviously there's no financial gain for them to do this, but they obviously were considerate individual and they put this together for everybody in the emulation community here. So click the link in the description below, save this. Um, you know, even if you're not doing anything with an image right now, you're not adding a new collection to your current image where you need BIOS files, you know, I guarantee you it's going to come in handy for you or somebody that you know later on down the road. So, you know, copy the link down, write it down, email it to yourself, bookmark it on your web um, browser, whatever you have to do, because I think that it's just an amazing reference for everybody that's doing anything with emulation to have on hand. You know, it eliminates all the running around and all the time spent looking for individual um, BIOS files and just gives you the entire set for every emulation platform out there. So. Um, I'm going to, I wish I could give credit to the person that took the time out of their um, life to put this together because it's such a win and such a home run for everybody that's in emulation. But uh, I'm just going to read the post that goes along with all these um, download links. And it says, hi, I took the time and the care to collect all the BIOSes requested by different emulation platforms by following their respective documentation. So all you do is you just scroll down and if you're looking for um, RetroPie, for example, you just go down to RetroPie, slide over and it gives you the uh, download link right there. It's only 44.3 megabytes and that gives you all of your BIOS files for all of RetroPie for every collection that's available on there. Uh, the Botticera one's a little bit bigger, that's um, 230 megabytes, but obviously Botticera you're getting everything that, that um, RetroPie would have, plus you know all those additional collections that are available on there. So um, again, this is for all of the major emulation platforms out there. So I guarantee you that it will come in handy to everybody out there that's doing anything with emulation. So definitely click the link, you know, share it with anybody else that you know, um, you know, that's doing anything with emulation. I think that it's just a massive home run and a great reference for everybody to have. So. You know, I didn't plan on doing anything with this video, actually. Um, I you know, had no intention of putting anything together for, with, um, uh, in regards to BIOS files, but 
I came across this and instantly jumped on here and wanted to share it with everybody because it saved me the headache of, um, you know, tracking down everything for that PlayStation 2 collection within Botticera. So it saved me a massive amount of time in literally two minutes. I went on here, downloaded the entire set, threw it up on my um, retro gaming PC here and got all of the BIOS files squared away for the entire Botticera system. So definitely click the link below and take full advantage of that. But that's gonna do it for today. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, check us out online, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.